Hi, Martin here. What I wanted to show you today is I have other videos that got the two-speed Taurus fan that I'm using and using a Saab thermal switch. Now, I recently discovered, I didn't know about it, but there's a BMW thermal switch that I like better. All because of the size of it and it makes the installation a lot easier. Um, I got, I discovered this, um, well I sold the Taurus fan and the guy mentioned it and then again on YouTube someone else mentioned the, the BMW thermal switch so I ran down to my local pick apart and went hunting and you're gonna find them if you're gonna go to pick apart or your parts place um, you're gonna find them from your 87 to 97 BMWs not every model but quite a few of them. I was able to find four different ones on a variety of BMWs. I'll show you a close up of this. Okay, now this is the finished product, what I got here. Here's your thermal switch, and this is the adapter. Um, I found this on eBay. You just punch in radiator hose adapter, and you're going to find a bunch of these. And they sell them by different sizes. This part is the size you're going to be looking for. Unfortunately, I mean, for like us Jeep guys, what comes out of the radiator is 32 millimeters diameter here. So, I mean, I ordered one and it even says 32 on here. But they went by the inside diameter. Why? I have no idea. That's dumb. But I was able to actually stretch the radiator hose over it will work. Um, the only thing you got to do is it, this thread here is a 14 millimeter by 1.5. So the adapter comes with a 1 8 NPT uh, drilled and tapped in here. And it's designed for to be used for like a uh, temperature gauge, water temperature gauge. So Drilling this out and then tapping it is pretty easy. Where before I was doing the same thing with a Saab, and theirs is 22 millimeters. It's huge. I got to use a 13 16 drill bit. So you end up having to mill all this down to get to where it's wider right here. And it was a lot more work. This one here, simply drill, tap it, install. And this is ready to go in. And then, of course, while you're at your local junkyard, you're going to get cut off a chunk of wiring because you're going to need that as well. Um, I got all this, the thermal switch and the, the wiring for $3. You can purchase the new switches. Um, if you got a BMW one, you'd be looking around $81. But I went on to Amazon and they got them for $15 and change shipped to your door. So that'd be a good way to go. And then all you need is the piece of wiring. And they had that on there as well. Um, an actual BMW one was around $30 for a pigtail connector and all that. Um, you could go that way if you like. All right. So there it is. That's just it cleaned up before and after. All right, now I'll show you how to build one of these, and then we'll install this one in the Jeep. Okay, here I got one from uh, eBay, just showed up. This one advertised at 34 millimeters, and yes, it is 34 millimeters from here to here, which is the way it sh should be advertised if you're looking for one. Uh, 32 will work is the ideal one. 34, you can get the hose on there with no problem. Okay, I got this set up here You're on a drill press using a half inch drill bit and that's what it calls for on a 14 millimeter by 120, no, by 1.5. 14 millimeter by one. 
Okay, we'll get this lined up. As you can see that drills out real easy in aluminum and there we go now all we got to do is grab a tap tap that out and then you're ready to install the thermal fan switch got the fitting here clamped into a vise put a little oil on there I've got the 14 millimeter by 1.5 tap. Now you want to get it in here as straight as you possibly can. tap something like this always uh, go a little ways and then back it up that much you can feel it actually kind of breaking off the excess and then go again And there we go. Now I've I made a small gasket for this. It generally comes with like a metal uh, O-ring type gasket, and it was in kind of bad shape. So I just made one. You don't have to get these terribly tight. That should do it. Ready to install. Now, what I'm going to do is place it in this area right here. I used to have the Saab thermal switch located in the exact same spot, right where we're gonna put this one. Now, my Champion radiator has a bung on the cool side. Unfortunately, that's on the wrong side, when, if you ask me. So my fan kicks on a little late. So, on the old install, I have the other, I still have the old um, radiator hose, and I'm just going to reuse it. Take this one off and replace it with the one that I've already cut. And you're going to lose some antifreeze. Now, installation of the adapter is pretty simple. You got your upper radiator hose. This is the hot water coming from your engine block block and head and we just simply cut the radiator hose now you could remove an inch of this radiator hose if you like but I believe you can just cut it push the radiator hose back and it's just going to set a little bit further back this way but if it seems like it's kinking anywhere at all I would remove approximately one inch 
all right and then install the adapter tighten down your clamps then you're gonna have your wiring and there's just the uh, three wires and on my unit I'm using just these Bosch relays you could also use like the Volvo um, controller as well which is quite popular so I'm using these three right here I have a low high and one for the AC control which flips it automatically into high and if you'd like to see any of these the video on how I wired the wiring diagram for the controller, the fan, and the relays. Um, I'll post the link to that below. Pretty simple installation here, and the whole tap and die, you know, it's very easy. This is easier to do this one than the Saab uh, thermal switch that I used in previous videos. So when I found this one, I wanted to show you how it's done. So, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.